kicking off New York Fashion Week, the museum at the Fashion Institute of Technology opened a dazzling exhibition titled Paris, Capital of Fashion, featuring approximately 75 fashion ensembles dating all the way back to the 18th century. The exhibit explores how and why Paris became the center of the fashion world. The thesis is that Paris became and remains the most glamorous and competitive fashion capital, despite competition from other cities like New York. Not naturally, because you know, designers didn't just spring up like mushrooms along the Seine after a rain, but because Paris was constructed over a period of hundreds of years as being the capital of fashion. And that this was not just a product of French propaganda, but actually was something that many people and groups participated in. For example, many people made money or attained prestige in New York by being associated with Paris fashion or by rebelling against Paris fashion. The exhibit takes visitors on a voyage through time, from the splendor of the royal court to the rise of haute couture in the 19th century, right up to the runways of present day. What we have here sections on Charles Frederick Worth, Coco Chanel, Christian Dior, Yves Saint Laurent. We have some really amazing pieces by designers as different as Doucet and uh, Rick Owens, the American who's made his home in Paris, where he shows he's become a really integral part of the Paris fashion scene. The work of the late great designer Karl Lagerfeld is prominently featured throughout the exhibit. Carl is featured here uh, both under his work for Chanel and also work that he did for Chloe. I think Carl's main importance had to do with his reviving of the house of Chanel because it was of course so famous for decades under Gabrielle Chanel but after her death it sank into irrelevance and he performed a kind of shock surgery on the house of Chanel and woke up the Sleeping Beauty and renewed all of the tropes of Chanel, making them relevant for new generations. Paris is seen as sort of the ultimate stage to present fashion. The point of the show is to show it's not just always like that, it's something which occurs in time. It occurred in the late 17th and 18th centuries in conjunction with the court of Versailles. It happens again in the later 19th century with the rise of the haute couture. It happens repeatedly in competition with industrial fashion in cities like New York. It, of course, goes into a very deep decline under the Nazi occupation and then revives again in the late 40s and 50s, the sort of golden age of the haute couture, and then revives again repeatedly as recently as the 1990s and with the 21st century, ironically with globalization and the proliferation of fashion capitals in cities all around the world, Paris has only become more important as it creams away the most successful and most talented designers from around the world. What does the future hold for French fashion? Only up and up, I think.